media's newest attack, mentally strong, is just for toxic men. Basically coming after mentally strong, capable man that can think for themselves. They're athletic. They can't be bullied around by feminists. And it's all about control. It's about controlling you, how you think, how you feel. You must support the regime. You must support the cause. You must support women. You must support DEI. And it's a shaming tactic. And that doesn't work with men. Well, it works with feminized weak men. But it doesn't work for strong men. And it doesn't work for stoic men. And we talk about being stoic a lot in these communities. And, and we, we, we discuss how the importance of being stoic. And many people can even rattle off the, all the tenets of stoicism. But how many people, or how many of you even, but how many of us actually live a stoic lifestyle? I don't just sit and read quotes of stoicism all day. I find that to be rather dry. But, but to read the tenets of it and to understand what it really means, I think, is important. And I think it's overlooked. And, and the reason why I think that's overlooked is because many times I'll look in my comments and men are angry, men are, you know, sad, men are happy they meet a girl. There's lots of different feelings out there. And again, I'm not calling any of them wrong or bad, but I think in this type of environment that we're in today, we're really going to have to keep our emotions in check. It's, it's a little reminder because even, I mean, now you guys see me rant when I'm doing a video and I go, ah, oh, you, and then I turn off the camera and I go, come on, boy. And we walk outside and I enjoy the, the, you know, the forest and, and the area where I live. And I don't give it a second thought. It's like me just, you know, getting a little something off my chest and then I move on with my day. I could certainly probably be better about my, my stoicism and keeping my emotions in check, but I, I don't really think emotions are a negative thing. It's just, you know, going on a good rant and a tirade. And then if you march off and stew about it or pissed off for the next five hours, the only person you're hurting is yourself. But if you can keep things in check and, and you can get off your little rant, get it off your chest and go, all right, I feel better. Anyway, moving about my day, I, I actually think that's a little bit healthy. The reason why I specifically bring up stoicism is, you know, I did a video with an, in, an, in an interview with a woman, I don't know what it was, last week or so. Many of you say, hey, it was nice hearing from a female on this type of subject. Me personally, I've always been curious, why do women get into men's spaces and want to support men's issues? Because to me, it does seem like a grift. To me, it does seem like they don't really care. But I didn't want to put my opinion in there because that might sway how you feel about it. So I said, I'm going to just, I'm going to be very charming. I'm going to be very nice because that tends to put people at ease. And then they listen. And as they feel at ease, they can, they will be open with their communication. And I just let her talk for the most part. I interrupted a little bit because, you know, Aaron has a tendency to go on a little bit, but so do I. So who, who am I to judge anybody on that? And so I did this interview and I, I, you know, put it out there and I just said, judgment free. Here's, here's why women are there. You decide. And several people got very angry at me. That's okay. This is not a complaint. An observation is not a complaint. And I said, okay, that's fine. But it's interesting to see how many guys just said, letting a woman speak on your channel is letting a woman into a men's space. Now I'm out here in the middle of the woods. Uh, last I checked, um, Aaron did not visit. I don't even know where she lives for that point. But people got very, very upset, and that surprised me a little bit. Again, not a criticism, but it really surprised me. Why would people be upset that I dare let a woman speak on my channel and let you hear from a female content creator why she does men's things? Now, if you say, oh, I totally believe her. I think she's an awesome person. Very sweet, very down to earth. That is perfectly acceptable. I think she is a sweet person. Many of you said, ah, she's just a grifter and women shouldn't, you know, women shouldn't be doing our content. In many ways, I also agree with that. I don't think it does any good. Women don't listen to her. It's mostly men. But it's still spreading the message of, you know, anti-feminism and, and the rest of it. So I don't think it's necessarily bad. I just don't think it does much good. And, and that's why I bring up this point of this. Tranquility, the tranquility that comes when you stop caring what they say or think or do, only what you do. Who cares that she was on my channel? Who cares that she says things you didn't dis, that you disagreed with? Who cares that I was polite to her? I'm not you. That doesn't affect your life. You have to look at it as, hey, that's a radio station I normally listen to, but today they've got music I don't care for. I'm going to just turn the channel. And then when they go back to playing the regular music, you go back to that channel. That's how I view it. And so not only did I have a couple of negative comments, I lost about 90 subscribers, I think, something like that, uh, which I'm sad to see them go. I really wish they would have hung around and 
stayed in the community so we could have a discussion about it. And I've had a couple of content creators call me out and and kind of tear me down a little bit for for allowing that to happen. But here's the wonderful thing about stoicism. I don't care. Not, not that I don't care that they left the channel and that they don't want to listen to me anymore. That does sadden me. I, you know, I do appreciate my viewers and I wish I had the ability to maybe communicate my thoughts with them. But I, in the big, in the long run, I don't care that people want to attack me for what I've done. I did it for a reason. I feel validated in the reason I did it. So you guys could hear from a woman and why they do what they do. And then moving on. And so not only is this a philosophy I try to follow, but I want you guys to try to follow it too. There is tranquility when you stop caring what people say about you, because that's going to be very, very re relative to this next story coming up. There is tranquility in stopping caring what people think of you or, or, or the things that you do. You know, if I decide to say, now, I, you know, this is going to be a video for Better Bachelor, so I'm not going to get into politics. But if, if I came out and said, I'm going to vote for the dingbat, Heels Up Harris, many of you would be like, are you nuts? And blah, blah, blah. But if I'm secure in my reasons for doing it, I don't care what you think. That, that's why you notice most of the left go absolutely bananas when you attack feminism or the blue hairs or the fat people or the idiots or the, or the uh, you know, male feminists. That's why they lose their absolute mind because they're not really secure in their own beliefs. They're glamming on to what everybody else is doing around them and feeling like a herd mentality. And so when you attack them, they go, oh, guys, let's all get together and let's fight back. But if you're really strong in, the, in, in your own personal beliefs, or at least in the knowledge of why you did something, then you don't really care. You know? So I think that's something that's pretty important to keep in mind. And the second one, uh, I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong, Epictetus, Epictetus, I believe it's Epictetus. And these are both you know, the Socratic message, uh, method, and these are Stoics of, of back in the day. He had a wonderful quote, only the educated are free. And so, now I didn't do this at the time. I wasn't thinking of this quote when I invited maybe somebody that you might not agree with having her on my channel. But this is something to think about, is that if you fall into these tribes, whether it's feminism, whether it's misogyny, whether it's the right, whether it's the left, whether it's flat earth or whatever, if you fall into any of these tribes and you refuse to listen to anybody else for any reason, you're going to be in a silo of knowledge. And then when we, when we talk about Yuri Bezmenov, I think it was back in the early 80s, right around 1984, ironically. In the early 80s, he said, once that you're totally demoralized, you can show somebody the information and proof right in front of their face, and they refuse to see it or believe it until the boot is on their neck. I don't want you guys to be like that. I want you guys to keep your minds open a little bit so that we don't become like feminists or leftists or or totalitarians or any of the other things that come or authoritarians, any of the other things that, that come to mind. A strong mind is a knowledgeable mind and it's a peaceful mind. And so I don't ask for your forgiveness. I don't give a shit. I don't want you to be angry at me. I care about you as a viewer and I'm glad you're here. That's not what I'm talking about when I say I don't give a shit. I did what I did for a specific reason to put knowledge out there for you guys and let you make a, a judgment and an assessment of the situation and then determine how you feel about it and then you feel about it however you do. But to come after me for speaking to a woman or letting a woman have a voice or letting a woman on my channel, I think that's being a little mm, combative. I think it's good to just sometimes listen. And if you don't want to listen, you notice I put our little interview, I gave a description, I put her photo, and you always have the option of saying, I don't care what she says, moving on. So only the educated are free, and to have a tranquil, peaceful mind will make you a happier person. I just put that out there because I do want you guys to keep your eyes open. I don't want you to fall into right versus left or, you know, whatever. You know, there's so many different, just keep your mind open. You can have your opinions. You can hate what I did. You can love what I did. That's irrelevant because that's your decision, not my decision. You feel however you want about it. But keep your mind open because an open mind is a free mind. It is an educated mind. And I think that's important. First story of the day we're going to be talking about is mental toughness.